Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to the Hot Rod Workshop. I uh, recently received a very excellent question of how to determine the required pre-stretch for a bead to be placed in a panel. Now the strategy that I use to determine the amount of stretch required for a particular bead is to start off with a sacrificial piece that's the same material and thickness of the panel that you plan on bead rolling. All right, we got our example piece laid out. We're gonna run our bead straight across from end to end. But before we do that, we're gonna make two small marks and get a measurement between the two. I like the center punch, these two marks. Uh, just so I don't accidentally wipe them away. All right, so we got our bead placed in the panel. It took about two and a half turns of the top crank on the bead roller to achieve this bead. So now we can measure between those two points and figure out how much the panel actually shrunk in. All right, and we just find out the difference between the two, which is about 15 thou. So with that information, we can take our actual panel, head over to the bead roller, and do the same exact thing, take two measurements. Doesn't really matter what the measurements are. I like to go with two inches just to make it easy on myself. And we will stretch the area that we're planning on beading until we get a stretch between those two marks of 15 thou. All right, our original distance was two and 15 thou. I opened up the caliper to a two and 30 thou, and it looks like we're right there. So let's head on over to the bead roller. All right, I went ahead and coined the edges, cleaned up a little bit, and it turned out pretty nice. Still have a little bit of crown that was in the panel originally, and the bead hasn't really flattened anything out or distorted it in any way. I really like this strategy. I learned this strategy through Mike Wagner. Uh, go check out his Instagram page. Uh, his shop is called Cornfield Customs. Uh, puts out some really mind-blowing work. Um, but this strategy works really well. I like having some sort of calculated strategy instead of just kind of going in guns blazing and hoping that things work out. This uh, gives me an opportunity to try it on an example piece 
and ruin the example piece as opposed to ruining a piece that I've been working on. Um, ask me how I know. So yeah, turned out pretty nice. If you gotta put beads in a panel that has some shape or you wanna keep something dead flat like a floor pan or something, this is definitely the way to go. Thanks for watching.